Welcome back to another Chef Knives to Go Quick Look product review. I'm Steve Gamash, and what we have this time is the Kohetsu Hap 40 Wa, or Japanese handled Kiritsuke Guto 240 millimeter knife. So, this line of knives has a uh, core steel, it's known as a Hap 40, it's a semi stainless steel. Uh, it's kind of taken on the name in Chef Knives to Go circles as Voodoo Steel because Mark got some samples and he just could not kill the edge on it. So the edge retention on these is just off the charts. It's excellent. The heat treat 65 Rockwell. They're very hard, so these are not knives to beat up on. Uh, they take a fair amount of technique because the steel is hard. It's fairly thin at the edge. It's to say quite thin at the edge. And so these take some technique, but you are rewarded with fantastic edge retention. They're not that hard to sharpen either. You've got to have pretty good aggressive stones, but they're not crazy hard to sharpen for the edge retention that you get. So the heat treat, as we see, is very high. The construction is a soft cladding on either side of that really hard coarse steel. Uh, the site says stainless. In practice, um, we've kind of seen from some of these uh, Kohetsu knives of this style, the um, excuse me, Aogami Super and the Hap 40, is that the cladding tends to be Kind of almost a little on the semi-stainless side, so the cladding will start to show a little bit of patina and um, coloration to it, as well as the core steel. Uh, these are just superb for our commercial environments, for pro environments. You'll get that kind of nice look of some patina on it, or at least some discoloration, some wear on it. It's just It looks really cool as you start using these things. So it's not going to stay pristine, but you'll get that kind of used lightly used look that says this knife's been worked hard and uh, these things just go and go and go and go so it's it's like i said a superb candidate for commercial environment the um, weight on it is 142 grams or five ounces edge length just slightly above 240 millimeters so 242 about nine and a half inches from the tip down to the back of the heel of the chin the overall length about 15.4 inches the spine thickness at the heel on these is about 2.4 millimeters. And then I measured it about halfway down, and it was about 2.2. So it doesn't lose a lot. Uh, keeps that pretty much until you hit the, the corner there at the reverse sword tip. And then it thins out pretty nicely as you get towards the tip. So the tip performs quite well on these, really very well. And they're thin at the edge as well. These are very, very good performing knives. They are absolutely no slouch at all. So great combination and balance of characteristics. The um, blade height is 49.8, so you've got lots of clearance here for your fingers on the cutting board. The handle's nothing fancy. It's a pretty lightweight handle, but it's octagonal ambidextrous hoe wood with a buffalo horn ferrule. Tight install on the handle. Good fit and finish on that. Uh, like I said, the handle is quite light. The circumference is right around 76 millimeters or 3 inches where the buffalo horn meets the wood. There's a slight step or feel there, not objectionable. You could clean that up a little, but I didn't really notice it too much in using it. The uh, balance point on the handle being light, the blade's light. It's only five ounces for the whole thing, so it's a lightweight package. And that light handle, I think, helps because it brings that balance point forward a little bit. So your pinch grip, mine's a little bit behind that. So that gives you a little bit of weight forward bias to the balance point and gives you a little bit of mass kind of a feel to that, even though the blade is very, very light. So this this will not, you know, cause you a lot of fatigue. It's, so, it's just light and very, very nimble for the size. The uh, fit and finish is very well done. Uh, there's embossed, pressed-in kanji on the right side of the blade. You can see it's a machine finish. You can see the coarse steel peeking out from the edge there. And there's the left side of the blade as you would be using it. And you can see the edge bevel there. Very sharp out of the box. These have excellent edges, about 7 out of 10 on my scale. So extremely sharp out of the box. A very cool aesthetic. The, the cladding, as I said, kind of is, will stain a little bit. It's kind of almost semi-stainless. And it's not too hard, so it'll scratch a little bit as well. But this is a, a knife that's going to show some kind of use and be a hard use type tool, which it is, and that's what it's built for. The food release is really surprising on these. They've got enough thickness at the spine to give you a good convex kind of grind to it. And so the food release was much better than you would expect on some similar style of knives. So you can kind of see that with the light hitting this, how that curve on that geometry from the spine, the grind spine down to the edge. So the edge has a generous 
thinning on certain sections of it. You'll tend to see on the right side of these blades, you'll have kind of a shiny area near the edge where they've thinned it out a bit. And the left side, usually they don't thin it as much. I didn't notice any steering on the lefty on these, so it's pretty much a 50-50 grind. Very versatile profile. Performance is great. This is quite similar, really, to the full, the straight 240 Guto version of this. So this this um, Bunka or Kiritsuke style tip just gives you a little different flair, kind of a little more aggressive look. But the performance is quite similar. They're very similar knives. You can see the profile is not super flat. You've got kind of a gentle belly that goes all the way up to the tip. The uh, I can get it right in there. I'm not getting too. The tip's a little bit low compared to some knives, but. So I'm getting right in there. So I can rock over smaller stuff. A uh, little bit of a flat towards the back. Not a lot. You can see some back belly there towards the, the rear. So it's not a big chopper, but I was really surprised how well I could chop stuff like scallions and things with that back third of that blade. I didn't really have much in the way of accordions, which I can sometimes with my technique on, the, on some knives. So I thought it was a quite versatile profile. Uh, went really well through uh, root vegetables and... Um, just an impressive all-around performer. So if you're looking, especially in a pro environment or just a home environment, you don't like to sharpen and you want something that's going to have really good edge retention as long as you give it some care on technique. Or if you're in a pro environment, you just want a prep monster with this days of edge retention, this is a good candidate. It's fun to use. It's light. Very good performer. It's just a, a very, very nice package. So this is the Kohetsu Hap 40 Wa, or Japanese handled version, Kiritsuke slash Guto 240 millimeter knife.